Welcome to Dice Junkies. This is Random Encounters, and I'm here with Q. And I'm Zeno Damus, and this is where we discuss random topics taken from a list of 20. Join us each week as we tackle each randomly rolled topic for you. Be sure to hit subscribe so that you don't miss an episode, and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, we hope you enjoy. I increased the size of the text for the random encounters list because we had some complaints about not being able to read. Um, the, my, my, my head apparently is covering up. Since, since when have we ever done anything other than mock people for complaining? Well, that's sort of what this is. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's, it's doing Can you read it as now? mocking. So do we need to do. Do we need to go down and, w- and w- yeah, you know, one by I, I, one and expand it? I can. I can. I can make the font bigger. I can. So anyway, <laughs> how big can you make it? Yeah. That that is the list. So let's uh, go ahead and get us uh, get us rolling today, Quinn. All right, I'm gonna start us off here. Y'all ready? I also had a complaint about the angle in which my camera is. And uh, and not being able to read stuff, and honestly, I'm not changing that. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so far we'll bend to actually accommodate people. Yeah, yeah. And that's about there. <laughs> yep, there you go. That is an 18 for those of you who can't see. You want to zoom in on it, man? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I scooted it forward. It should, uh, should be very visible. Now, I don't have the list memorized, sir. Well, you should. 18 is don't do this. I do not remember that. <laughs> oh, we were, you were complaining about my behavior at cons. And oh. About the things that you're not supposed to do. And uh, things that other people. Oh, and we're talking about things other people do. All right. One of the ones this came up about that we're going to just put a little knowledge on you for you con goers since Pensacon's coming up. When you are on a panel and you have an opportunity to talk to a voice actor. Oh, oh, you're going to you're going to complain you about that. Thing, okay. Which is that the well, you know we we got to talk to the guy who did all those awesome voice acting including Beerus and we watched his people ask this American voice actor like questions about the story of Dragon Ball Super and we're sitting there going like they are aware that he's not the writer. His name's not Toriyama. He doesn't speak Japanese. He has he, no he didn't input even, yeah. on the story. He didn't even do the original script. He's, yeah. he's doing a translation of the script. So mm-hmm. when you're talking to a panelist, remember that if you're talking to a voice actor, the qu- relevant questions should be about maybe how they prepared for the role, uh, what information they were given before they took up a role. But they're not going to be able to tell you the backstory of freaking Goku or where Beerus came from or who'd win in a fight because they're voice actors. They're not the writers. So first thing to don't do, do not ask a voice actor a writer (laughs) question. Okay? Use some common sense. Same thing for the actor. The guy that Uh, played freaking... Yeah. Now, now I say say it's probably a bad idea. I do got to say, he did a... Damn good job of answering the question, even though you know he wasn't the right guy to ask. So the well, he had to do that because the convention, because you know panel panel goers are idiots. So no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Don't be calling panel goers idiots. Panel goers are not idiots. Some people are idiots in general. Not all. all. Okay, you're right. Don't don't be so blanket. I take that back. People are idiots. Just all people. I mean, all we've gone. Are we've gone to panels. We're idiots too. <laughs> you may want to include yourself in the idiot list. I'm not including mine. There's nothing more um, foolish than not knowing how much you don't know. Never said that. I but, can. Uh, I can definitely agree that I'm ignorant of some things. I'm not an idiot. This isn't about you. Why is it always about you? This is about what you should You be said doing everybody. Right? You said all. So it did all includes me. Damn colonizer. Are you that big this of an a idiot y'all. that you don't this know the span of all? It's always about them. But uh yeah, but seriously, you know, that that's where it came up from is that, you know, general etiquette, 
you know, don't shove your camera in someone's face without asking all that. But the main thing we saw was the questions at the con of asking people questions that did not make any sense and expecting a valid answer. Yeah. Don't be over encompassing with your comments, like using words like all and everyone. Yeah. Those are usually bad ideas. I'm talking to all of you out there. <laughs> Y'all stop screwing up. <laughs> now roll the die. Uh, give me the black die. Why? Because I just got through watching Black Panther and I want to roll black die. Oh, or okay. I could just want to roll black die. Or I said, give me the damn black die. <laughs> <laughs> you see how they take things from you? Colonizers, man. <laughs> By the way, see how weak he is? Two hands on one. <laughs> it still dropped it. Ah, uh, there we go. I got more power Here, in my take, take the white die. <laughs> and, uh, more power in this fist than he's got in both. <laughs> All right. He couldn't even get it right. We got a 15. And 15 is cool gaming peripherals. So, all right. So this topic, I mean, this is where we, we're, we're gamers, like I said. Now, many of us use the Xbox controllers and stuff like that for peripherals for gaming. But there's a lot of cool peripherals out there that aren't just the, X, you know, controllers. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm not including VR headsets in that, but <laughs> I mean, for me, uh, when we when we got this one, I remember, despite what mm-hmm. other people thought, I remember the old Mech Warrior setup that had the full rig that was awesome. Well, and I think that was actually the conversation that brought this topic uh, to our to 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 our attention was about the Mech Warrior stuff. But like one of my favorite things is the oh uh, shoot, what do you call them? The mechanical keyboards, the programmable keyboards where you can program this whole keyboard where each key can be just whatever you program it. I have one. It's a, it's a one-hand keyboard that I love by Logitech, and it actually has where you can set up presets for different games, and you just switch to whichever game you're playing at the time. These things are awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I've mm-hmm. got programs I run to do that with my games. Like right now, I've got uh, I always like to set up play by controller, and I've got an app that lets me basically take the entire keyboard and program it to my controller in any way I want, even certain commands or strings of commands, and that's pretty fun, you know. But like when I think peripherals, I always think of that extra unusual equipment, and uh, they they really because I mean some of the flight simulator equipment is amazing. Yeah, now I will say uh, one of my buddies uh, over at Invent Gaming, he uh, does a lot of flight simulators, and he he was doing a review on one of the uh, eye tracking uh, headsets. Cool. And it actually tracks your eyes, and uh, so you can look around the, the the cockpit and stuff like that without whipping your head around like yeah. the VR set. Now that's cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's still, still, you still see your monitor and all that stuff, but it just tracks your eyes. The, uh, the game I've been playing, Kingdom Deliverance, actually supports that, that technology as well. Um, that, that seems like that'd have a great market in horror gaming. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Yeah, you're talking about the sticks and pedals for the Xbox Steel Battalion was pretty good. Yeah, mm-hmm. was that Steel Battalion then? I, I might have been still bad. It was one of the Met games had like a full setup, and I mean, it had like a massive. Oh wow, w- wooden balls going all the way back to the Super Scope for the Genesis. <laughs> um, well, he dated himself on that one. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, I, I remember the Super Scope, but. I was a Nintendo guy. My uh, my buddy was a Genesis guy. He had the Super Scope. And I was a Nintendo guy. I remember owning a Power Glove, but I don't have any good memories. I know there was there were, there was no good memories about the Power Glove. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that doesn't go on our good peripheral. It goes on our cool, like the concept and what you wished it could do, and what they made you think it could do in that one movie. Oh yeah, man, those commercials were awesome. And that movie Glove. was it, The Wiz or whatever. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, but it was none of those things. Uh, they could do that now. Like, we have the tech to do a lot better job now. But, no, like, uh, I like those kind of almost thematic peripherals. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were pretty cool. I mean, if we're going to say this, despite the fact it may not be as big now, even um, Rock Band. I mean, I was big into Rock Band. Dude, I loved Rock Band. Like, and, I, I mean, I it was to, fun. 
Yeah, no, I, I loved the game. It was it was tons of fun, and it was well. And it's one of those things, like we were saying, we've said multiple times before. You know, it had that couch co op feel. You know, you was all your buddies getting in a room. Oh, we you know. always did at least three people. Or yeah, more, yeah, man. yeah. We had the whole band going. You uh, know, trash talking each other and. It's just fun times. Yeah, you get a good song going, and you got a bunch of people just just having a ball. Mm-hmm. So I, I love those peripherals. They they make a difference. There's no way rock band would have been what it was without the instruments. And same thing for certain other games, man. The peripheral made the game. Mm. So cool, man. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, Google, roll me a d20. Rolling a die with twenty faces. The result is two. Ooh, that was Dude, I have. Woo. I've been wanting another one. Uh, hey, the mic wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, no, no. I uh, we we blood act said that uh, the worst thing though is when they added the mic. Hey, some people could do it. Not not everybody though. It's true. Yeah, no, the mic was not a good idea. So two is epic movie scenes. We're revisiting this uh, topic. We've uh, oh, we've hit yeah. it before, some but of the best ones in movies. Yeah. What you got, blood? Uh, what you got? There? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let yeah. you go first, man. No, you. I'm uh, still thinking. I'm like, like I'm trying to buy time here. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Oh uh, well, crap. Let's see. Oh, What's come a... on. You got something? What's one of your favorite movies? Hmm. I have. Nice <laughs> I know. I know. Like I was trying to. I was. I was hoping upon things off on you because you usually. Uh, usually already have All like right. a couple in the uh, oven. Conan. So. Uh, Conan the Destroyer. I'm gonna start with my old schools. I still own that movie. Uh, there mm-hmm. is just no moment quite like the final scene in that movie when Conan is fighting. Uh, spoilers if you haven't seen Conan. Well, screw you though. Also, if you haven't yeah, seen Conan yeah, the I think Destroyer. it's a little late for that one. When he. Uh, when he ki- he fights the uh, awakened dreaming god that had turned into a monster, and he kills it, mm-hmm. and they play that da 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 da. They just play that theme. It was epic. And then the thief runs up there and stabs his knife, and I was just dying laughing. Oh, I love it, that it scene. That is great. Out. That is good. Awesome scene. But the music, the style, just everything about it to me is what I try to make happen in my games. When I when I run a game tabletop game. I like to culminate with the party having that moment of just like awesome. That 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 moment doesn't happen. The campaign didn't end right for me, so I try to make it happen because that that literally inspired me. Conan the Destroyer to me was like D and D the movie before they made really bad attempts at D and D the movie. Um, let's see. One I one I would say is to me Fight Club. With oh, Fight Club, like at one? that at that moment, that that moment when you start realizing, you know, the that that uh, these people spoilers, are the same spoilers, when they yeah, <laughs> dude. If you ain't seen Fight well, Club, that, that whole movie's about that spoiler yeah. though. That actually, that's yeah, the yeah. But movie. if you ain't seen it, then it's 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 way beyond the statute of limitations of spoilers. Um, I mean, well, we're talking about nineteen nineties. Uh, Lord, Blood Axe is out nerding us by a mile. He's like, oh, the god Dagoth. I'm like, God, no, oh. you got the name. You know you wiki dead, man. You ain't fooling us. <laughs> but, yeah, no, at the, <laughs> at the point you start realizing, and then you go back, and this is really the scene itself, when you go back and you realize all the points where they pretty much told you what was happening, and you're like, how did I not know? Dude, weren't you there for that awesome time when I pulled that on uh, Remy? When uh, I mm. I played, I ran that uh, game where y'all went to Silent Hill, and uh, he found out that the other guy yeah, was yeah, his yeah. character the whole time. I pulled a Tyler on a player by literally having him like play his alter ego at, at times and not realize that they were the same person, and it was amazing. When he realized that his gun had been in his bag the whole time, the gun the other guy was using, but he had never checked his bag, that was like ultimate DMing moment of... Uh, of having the player go, it was there the whole time. I was like, oh, yeah, from day one, I've been but, yeah. setting up and seeding this, and you could have figured it out. But, yeah, so the, so, the, so the epic scenes, though, are actually, they're not epic at the moment they happen. They're only epic the second time, and you're like, ah, you know. For that one, the flashbacks of all the times that it was clear. Also realizing he whipped his own tail. Was this like, yeah, yeah. Well, they realized that all these people followed him, 
watching him beat himself up. You know, like he started from people watching him beat himself up. <laughs> and they're just like, okay. And they're man, just so going, going with it. Like, again, yeah, man. man. Yeah. You know, and they also knew he went by t- two names. You know, yeah, we. you said you would. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, yo, yeah. he's doing the Tyler thing he's doing again. The, yeah. yeah, you're like, okay. <laughs> I mean that that was cool too. Yeah, I, I'll give it. Mine's better, but I like yours too. Yeah, yeah well, you yeah. know, I'm still I'm still cheesing. It's in my head, dude. The Conan theme is playing in my head right now. No, as soon as you mentioned Conan, that was the scene I thought of. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean it was epic, and uh, you don't see that in a lot of movies these times where you just have that like, oh, that was the the best friggin' scene of the movie. Uh, I'd like to see. That that's to me what made the reboot fail was it it did not have that moment it did not pull off that epic Conan moment where you were just like that's freaking Conan you know movie over I'm done yeah. no, roll credits you know what I'm saying I mean that was it they couldn't have to do any of the part after that they could have rolled the credits right after that music played and you'd also been like I'm good mm-hmm. yeah. I, you know, I got off, did you? You know, <laughs> that was what I came here for. All right, well, we, we've 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 still got a decent. Uh, it's been a little short of an episode, so let's go ahead and roll that fourth one. Uh, you want to roll, or uh, can we go to the editor? Okay, editor, roll me a d twenty. Put those hands on camera. <laughs> I saw that hand. She is real. We're not making yeah, it up. Yeah. All right, so that's a that's a four. Do do do. Uh, turn-based versus real-time. Ah, this one is especially interesting considering that both of us actually love uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm -hmm. You know, so it isn't like, you know, we don't have turn-based games that we really are fans of. Oh, no, there's there's several turn-based games. I mean, XCOM, I'm a big fan of this turn-based. Also, like, Heroes of Might and Magic you know that series Ooh, back in the day was was great. Now they've the the new ones aren't so great, but the uh, but like Heroes Three and oh yeah. so good. I mean I played a few turn based recently. You know most of them were like uh, fan games and stuff, RPG Maker and such. But um, a well made game can pull definitely still be turn based and be good. But it does need to be me at least need to have that Final Fantasy tactic style of giving a little bit more than just being turn based. You know, move around the field, use a little tactics, you know what I'm saying, area mm-hmm. effects. So I do like to see at least that much in the game. And uh, the Tales series does that. You know, Tales of Destiny, Tales of a uh, – I can't remember the latest one, but we saw a trailer of it, you know, the chick with the wolf claw. Uh, That's the Tales yeah. series too. Okay. They're almost real time. Uh, some t- you know, the early ones were a little turn-based and kind of, kind of a mix. But um, yeah. I, I've gotten real time now. Yeah, no, no, most of the, most of the JRPGs now sort of do a real time. Oh yeah, Persona, Personas are uh, turn based. No, I'm sorry, you said real time. Okay, no, most of JRPGs still do like Persona is a uh, pure turn based. Right? No, nah, I mean like, most absolute. are they're, they're sort of turn based. I guess. Uh, I guess there's there's that hybrid turn based now where the 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 clock's still ticking while. I mean, you you have the turns, and it will pause under certain circumstances, but for the most part, even... Because, I mean, even like you go back to Final Fantasy V. Final Fantasy V, your meter is building up, and you're clicking fight and all that, but the other meters are still building up, so it's it's not 100% turn-based. not my favorite turn-based, because um, um, I kind of feel like that's just disadvantages to the player since you're not going to be able to instantly decide what you want. I mean, you got to go through menus to get to your items and stuff. And some of the games, that, that keeps ticking. Some of it you can turn it on and off, but some of them it keeps ticking even mm-hmm. when you're going through your menus. And you're like, uh, that kind of, you know, isn't the funnest. Now, I do got to say with RPGs fun. in general, I have uh, I've grown to enjoy the, the action RPGs versus turn based now more so than I than I used to. I mean, I obviously when when RPGs first started going action, I was displeased because I was like, they're they're destroying my RPGs, you know. But as I as time's gone on and I've I've played more and more of them, I definitely have to say that uh, I do. I have grown to really enjoy the action, and I have a trouble going back to some of the slower-paced turn-style RPGs. 
But that's the comedic fact about me playing MMO since I hate him so much. It's the fact, though, that MMOs are where I have to go to get an action RPG half the time. Because, you know, you can't really do turn-based on an MMO. So they usually have active combat because it's almost a necessity. So I'll go there because I'm, I've gotten stuck on it. It's the best of both worlds, man. It's my it's it's like Devil May Cry meets Final Fantasy. It's the ultimate experience. I get to go in there. I get to use my skill to fight, but I also get to grind and level and unlock new abilities. Yeah, but the whole use your skill to fight thing is uh, is also more and more become uh, a newer thing because even the old uh, even the older games. Like World of Warcraft had lock on systems and stuff, you couldn't dodge that that magic ball okay, going at and you and fight stuff. Is not really to me action. It's really closer to uh, it's well, it's not turn based, but because you're waiting mm-hmm. on the activation and recharges. But like you said, it's just kind of toe to toe. I agree with you that it's like that really wasn't a full action RPG. It's just I'm standing mm-hmm. there, you're standing there, and we're doing cooldowns and going. Well, I mean, once cube. you have that lock on system and all that stuff, it's it, it takes away from some of the skill part, and it's more just a button combination um, on your skill tree, mm-hmm. not the moving around. And the aspect that I'm liking about the newer RPGs is the actual moving around, being able to roll out of the way, dodge stuff. You know, that stuff you couldn't do even in some of the, the earlier action. And it combines well with the cooldowns because one of the things in uh, Critique and also in Blade and Souls that was a big deal is that you had a cooldown on some of your dodge moves. So you had to decide when was the time to dodge. You know, when was the time to do an invasion? And then you had to maneuver yourself until it cooled down before you could do it again. So it becomes, it's like strategy meets action RPG. And uh, personally, I think it's going to, it's really going to take turn-based out of the equation except for tactical games pure tactical like i wouldn't want to see an action rpg version of final fantasy tactics i prefer the tactic style i would want a game another tactics game to play like the tactics with the i maneuver my guys i get them in a position i'm actually paying attention to what at what order people's actions come in that still got its place but outside of that one particular style of play i think action rpgs are the new future i mean we saw kingdom hearts uh the trailer for kingdom hearts mm-hmm. the new one and i mean they're pushing action up to the point that it's like it's almost indistinguishable from uh hack a it's almost indistinguishable from games like double may cry and god of war while being completely rpg as well gain experience customize your abilities you know equip yourself the way you want to go into combat it's the optimal thing. I mean, the only next place we got to hear is like we talked about is peripherals. You know, when will they get some peripherals and start really pushing it to the next level? Yeah, I mean, we added, uh, you know, uh, VR with tabletop. Maybe we'll see, uh, you know, and I mean, VR, we've, we're seeing VR with RPGs right now, but it's still really clunky and I do not like it. VR needs, a, needs to come a long way, I think, before it's ready for RPGs. But yeah, they took a shot at it with Skyrim, and while I we haven't tried it ourselves, they said no, I haven't. I've been watching a lot of other folks that have, and I, you know, the feedback has left me believing we're not there yet. Yeah. But all right, well, I think that's going to wrap us up for Random Encounters in this episode of our live stream. So thanks for watching, and as always, we hope you enjoyed. Mm-hmm.